1984, we started something that, was, that has revolutionized television news. Should have gotten an Emmy for it. The network saw to it that we didn't get an Emmy. Very interesting. They saw to it that we didn't get an Emmy, and that is Conus Communications. And you know, I had an idea back in 1984. I'd learned a lot about satellites because I was trying to get DVS going. And I'd figured out that, you know, these small dishes of KU band satellites, we could really do something with that by tying TV stations together. And then my son Stan came to me and, and uh, uh, Ray Conover, who was the chief engineer of, of USSB, said, you know, we can, these things are only eight, these uplink dishes are only eight feet wide. You know, you can put them on a truck and you don't have to get permission from the FCC. Every time you do an uplink, we could, you know, you could do remote news broadcasts. And I'd talked to broadcasters, and none of them seemed to grasp the idea. So I said, well, here's what we better do. So in February of 1984, we got George O'Gara, who ran a company of ours called FNF Productions, and a production company in Florida. And we said, we got a job for you. You've got to build a truck, a satellite news gathering truck. It's going to be the first one in the world. And it's got to be ready for April for the National Association of Broadcasters. <laughs> so we built the truck, and we got it ready. And it was, it was, it was model... Uh, uh, GT slash AC, and for years I never told anybody what that meant. It meant garbage truck, air conditioned, because he converted a garbage truck. And we took it to NAB and we demonstrated how it worked, how it would work. And I remember Joey Barnathan, the, the ABC engineers were looking at it, this is great, it's fantastic, and he came through and said it won't work. And NBC, Harold Crump, who was the first uh, ENG guy and who was, still works with us, at that time was running the uh, hobby stations and in uh, 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 Texas, and an uh, NBC affiliate there. And he was uh, the chairman of the NBC affiliate satellite board. And the network said, it won't work. Don't even bother with it. And CBS said, it won't work. So we showed this thing, and, and Saul Paul was there from Radio and Television Age, and he said, I don't understand this, Stanley. And he told me afterwards that everybody said, this is a nutty idea. It's crazy. But we were able to sign up KPRC in Houston. We were able to WBRC in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, I don't remember which station it was in New Orleans. Maybe it was, I don't remember which one it was in New Orleans. And we signed uh, one up in Charleston, I think it was. And we signed up uh, WSB, Jim Coppersmith, and uh, WSB, the ABC affiliate in uh, Boston. And that year there was a there was a series of hurricanes, and they came right around the Gulf Coast from Houston, right around up. And we were feeding our five first stations live with these hurricanes. And the network had said, it'll never work if it rains. You see, we did a lot of experimenting. We went in and we picked up some hockey games with a little truck we rented, a satellite uplink truck we rented from uh, Canada, a Telesat of Canada. And we went down and picked up hockey games and rainstorms and snowstorms. And even with only half a transponder uplink, it wor they worked fine. So we knew this thing would work. And we started this business. There was no place to buy trucks, so we had to build them. But what did CONUS do? CONUS, and this is why I said we should have gotten an Emmy, never did. And the network, we know that when we applied for a Ward call, I'll tell you, the networks killed it. The networks did not want CONUS to work. And Julie, Julie Barnathan called me one day from ABC, and he said, God damn you, we've been drinking. He said, you're, you're going to ruin the network business. He said, you got ABC stations talking to CBS stations, talking to NBC stations, and it's a terrible thing because not all their CONUS affiliates belong to the same network. They're independents and network affiliates. And what we did, and my son Stan puts it the best, what Stan and his gang did with CONUS, they made it possible, in his words, for a television station to write its own headlines. Up until the day CONUS became an entity, you waited until the evening news from the network to find out what was going on in the world or what was going on around the country. And all of a sudden, when CONUS began, you could get feeds from anywhere in the country, and you could have the news on your station, yourself, and we had a great setup. Now, we just closed it two weeks ago. Because what we closed, because what's happened in the, in the day of tight budgets and stations uh, being bought by big groups, and the network's giving a really good service themselves for satellite news gathering. There was no longer a market for CONUS. So we had a, a really fun 18-year run with it. But we, I mean, we couldn't compete with the networks. <clears throat> they did it cheaper and did it for their affiliates, and they'd give the, uh, give the affiliates equipment and dishes and everything else, you know, and help equip their trucks. But we started it, and 
you know some of the people in the networks didn't like, but I think the I think that the public and the people who watch television and the stations are better off because a local television station now can be a worldwide television station, a nationwide, a statewide television station. And we did it, and everybody else said it wouldn't work, so we're very proud of that.